In the previous video, we were looking at this uh, question, how many Caesar ciphers are there? And we arrive at this important fact, and the fact was that if you have a shift of n positions clockwise, that is equivalent to having a shift of r positions clockwise, where that number r that you see here is just the remainder of the division of n divided by 26. I think it's important now I give you a couple of examples to emphasize the importance of, of this fact that we arrived to. So here again I have my uh, arrangement of letters in a circular manner. And so let's look at the following example. So let's say an example here. Suppose we have a scissor uh, cipher. Uh, with a shift of, let's say, 54 positions clockwise. So this is the cipher that uh, uh, Alice and Bob agree on, so it's going to be 54 positions clockwise. But remember, according to the fact that we saw here earlier, Whenever you have a shift of n positions uh, clockwise, that's exactly the same as just shifting r positions, where r can be computed as the remainder of n divided by 26. So in this particular example here that we're talking about, n is uh, 54. So n is 54. Uh, now you can shift uh, 54 position clockwise, or you can do something better, which is take that 54, divided by 26 and see what the remainder is and that is the actual number of positions that you actually have to move. So let's let's see that. So I have to calculate the remainder of 54 divided by 26. So you go back to uh, the algorithm, the long division. So I have here my 54. I'm gonna divide it by 26 and I see how many times uh, is 26 and 54 and that is only two times so 26 and 54 is two times and I take the 26 multiplied by 2 that of course gives me 52 and I do the subtraction here and that of course gives me gives me 2 now this number that you see here the number uh, 2, which is the remainder. This is the remainder. There's one mark here in purple. That's the remainder. That's the actual number of positions that you have to go clockwise. And let's see why is that. Uh, so let me go back here to the arrangement of letters that is in the circular uh, arrangement. And let's say, for example, you want to transform the letter A uh, using 54 uh, clockwise. Now, according to that division, according to the fact, now because the remainder we got here is 2, then basically what that means is you have to move 2 clockwise. And let's see why is that here from this circular arrangement. So if I start to see where this letter A transformed to, because I have 54, so I have to go around this circle 54 positions. So I can do it this way. So I start here at A. I go around 26, if I go around again, it's another 26 that doesn't do anything. Now we have 52. So 26, 26 is 52, 53, 54. 54 is the actual number of positions that the A was transformed. So A was transforming to C. Okay. So A was transforming to C. So this, act, this uh, remainder was the actual number of positions that you have to move. Of course you can do it 24, 54, but then you're wasting your time because you have to go around. Every time 26 is in that number, you just go around the, the, the circle, a complete circle. So this two that you see here, this two, the two that we have over here, is the number of times you have to go around the circle. Now, unfortunately, this 2 is equal to that 2 in this example, but this 2 has the meaning of 
that's the number of times that you go around the circle and this is the actual number of positions that you have to go clockwise all right and so that's the example there let's look now at another example of a scissor cipher that is a shift of 83 position clockwise so in this case n will be 83 so remember the actual number of positions that you have to move is not really 83 i mean you can move 83 but you're gonna waste your time it's better just to take that number 83 divided by 26 and look at the remainder of that division and that's going to tell me the actual number of positions I have to move clockwise. So let's do the division again. So long division. So I take the number 83. I'm going to divide it by 26. So how many times is the number 26 in 83? It's three times. You can go ahead and check that. Okay. Now, um, so what I do is I'm going to take that number, remember long division, you take uh, 26, multiply it by 3 that's going to give you 78 so let's go to 78 here i subtract that from the 83 there so that gets me 5. the number 5 that you see there that number is the number of positions you actually have to move so you have to if you have to move 83 positions clockwise that's exactly the same as moving a 5 position clockwise and what is that number three here mean? That's the number of times you have you have to go around the circle if you actually go 83 times. All right. So let me go back to the circle and see what that means. So let's say, for example, we want to transform. Let's take, an, let's take another letter. I'm always doing A. So let's do the letter E here. So let's see what this E is going to transform to. So I'm going to have to go 83 times here from the letter A. Go around 83 times. Uh, because 26 here goes exactly into 83 uh, three times. This is the number of times I have to go around the circle. So I'm going to end up at the letter E again. So if I go back here, sorry. If I go back here to E. So I'm going to go uh, one time. That's 126. I'm going to go another time. That's another 26. I'm going to go another time. That's another 26. That's three times around the circle. So three times 26. And then the actual the actual number of positions that you move is five. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So basically, the letter E is being transformed into the letter J. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five. Every letter will be transformed in the same way. So for example, the letter G, if I go 83 positions clockwise, the one that I have here, 83 positions, that's exactly the same as going five positions clockwise. And you can check that. So that's the importance of having that fact. Basically, what you do is if you have a large number of positions clockwise, like 83, 100, 1000, you don't actually have to do them. You just take that number. If the number is big, you divide it by 26. Look at the remainder of that division. And that remainder, which in this case is five, that's going to be the number of positions you have to move clockwise.